Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Sorry for the different angle guys, I made a video explaining why. Um, so you can check that out if you like. I'm going to pull um, one of the Akashic Tarot deck first for the overall energy for you guys. And then I'll be using the Mythical Tarot deck for the main read there. Okay, so Queen of Roses. So this is uh, somebody um, coming into your life to offer you this love offer here it could be that you're feeling um love for somebody here you have love for somebody or somebody has love for you but the queen is, in this deck is about somebody coming in to offer this love to your life here um quite an abundant love look at all the roses and things in the picture here so there's a huge love um you have for somebody or somebody has for you could be both um but it's like a huge love connection here with the queen of roses so i'll use the main deck here for sagittarius um i'll be picking up during leo season for you guys um an offer i kept seeing the ace of pentacles and the death card for transformation maybe some of you are deep dealing with a scorpio and they have this love for you here um so let's see it is um lion's gate so from 26th of july to 12th of august but peaks on aa obviously lion's gate so um the messages may come out a little bit deeper than usual so we have the nine of wands come out two of swords and temperance here um i feel like um you could be quite undecided about this connection or undecided about a second chance or it could be your soulmate's feeling here it seems that walls are coming up so it could be like um self-preservation self-protection um so it's making you feel like making you question do i even want a second chance with this person um this could be the energy you're feeling here you do understand you know um you love them they love you or something here but something is holding you both back from um this second chance here temperance being about wanting a second chance maybe they're asking you to compromise and you just can't do it yeah, maybe that they're asking you to compromise your boundaries um and you just won't do it at the moment or um you know vice versa with them it's just the energy between um this soul connection so it could be you or them when i'm speaking okay um so there definitely is something holding this connection back from coming together um if this is a new connection um maybe because you have have to go through um you know these ups and downs in life these peaks and valleys and all this journey you've been on maybe if this is a new love connection you're a bit wary about letting down your boundaries here and holding back a little but be careful of this because it's coming across to them as indecision so if somebody uh, it could be if somebody from your past has love for you and this indecision is holding them back, it could be coming across to you as, you know, they don't want me here. They don't want a second chance. So you could be feeling like, um, you know, this person doesn't want me back or something like that. But the truth is um, they're undecided. That is a decision in itself. I mean, um, so I can't just... say that you know the only thing holding them back is indecision um feeling like they don't have all the answers but they feel like you're hiding something from them here because your walls are up okay or it, like i said it could be you feel like they're hiding something from you and it's just more like i've been through so much right now you know i've been on this long journey i've been through all this I, I it's a rest period this okay the nine of wands is about 
protecting the fruits of your labour, how far you've already come, needing a rest. I mean, you've just been through cancer season here with this, you know, you've just been drowned in cancer season with all those emotions, all those um, things that needed taken care of, family problems and friendship problems, things like that. So it's like, I need a rest at the moment. So I'm not making any decisions right now. I'm not making any um, firm, solid movements right now. I'm, it's more like a rest period. I don't want to, it's like, I, it's like I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, but I don't want to do that too much, okay? Um, but I feel like one of you wants a second chance here and is holding back with the two of swords, okay? But I feel like what's holding you or them back is just that you need a time out. So you may find that during August, you know, um, just like, could even be like, loving yourself by keeping up your walls and holding back here like i'm not going to make any major decisions without all the information and that's why it could come across as indecision just having your boundaries too high it's definitely needing compromise with temperance um to allow you know your head and your heart to find a nice balance and I just, I don't feel like at this time you can do that. Look at that Queen of Swords. It seems like you are them a more in their head and it's holding them back. So you need to um, cleanse your heart chakra and bring that in here. Learn to, um, you know, trust your instinct, trust your heart to guide you in the right direction. Maybe you're like, well, I trusted my heart before and I went through all these things on this journey. Um, but it's like, a happy balance you need to find with temperance here you could be uh, coming across as queen of swords energy so quite angry and quite bitchy sort of thing rather than productive it could be coming across wrong so i feel like you feel like the queen of cups inside very loving and things like that but you could be projecting to the outside um this self-defense mode and like i don't care and go away from me sort of thing uh yeah so and that could be holding you back because you're just unsure at the moment of the truth six of swords yeah um you need to get into a more positive place of thinking and feeling here so i'm hungry <laughs> um yeah so here i see you wanting to move forward but trying to do it all guided by your head rather than a balance of your head and heart here so it could be even traveling here but i feel like um with the rest of the cards it's leading too much with your head and just being too logical um when we're coming into a fire season um, I feel like you're just using your head too much, okay? So I, I would suggest finding a balance because these, it's like these two queens, these two sides of you, um, we need them both, but we just need them in balance. And then I feel like you'll feel um, peace within yourself. You'll feel better, more like yourself rather than overthinking or overfeeling. You need that happy balance to find peace here to be able to make a decision and then I feel like you'd move forward more positively but it shows me that you're moving forward regardless here um let's see what you're moving forward into it's like just trust your instinct here maybe you know like I feel like here you're being trying to be guided here but you're like i want to see where i'm going so if you're to trust your instinct then maybe not all the time you can see what is it um when you're blinded by your faith you can see your way clear through the rain okay so you know it's all it's not always a bad thing not to know everything um, it's just like, let your instincts guide you forward. 
okay don't be too logical because i feel then you're coming across wrong to people it's not your usual self sort of thing eight of swords yeah definitely overthinking here and feeling stuck like okay i if you know if i stay like this i'll end up stuck if i'm using too much thought i feel like i can't escape this situation but i can't make a decision because i don't have all the answers like i said let your intuition guide you at this time this man is um you know glowing here so it's like your spirit guide trying to guide you and maybe you're like well i can't see where i'm going i want to know what's ahead the more you think like that the more you stay stuck so less thinking more feeling here is needed you know find this happy balance this compromise what did i just post um not always rainbows and butterflies it's compromise that moves us along so you know we have to compromise she's usually pouring water and fire here so you know um yeah that's a perfect example of what i meant like it's not always look there's this is a rainbow these are butterflies it's not always perfect sometimes we have to compromise and i feel like you find the compromise here in your head and heart like not letting one rule over the other here so i feel like if you find yourself too much in your head overthinking you end up stuck still when you're wanting to move forward i feel like you end up stuck You could end up like, what are they doing? Um, what are they not telling me? They're keeping secrets from me. So all these eight swords is like, my mum's annoying me. My kids are annoying me. <laughs> my friends are annoying me. I've got all these people like adding this pressure onto me or something. Um, and again, she's blindfolded here. So it's like somebody's not telling you something. So you're like, okay, do they have somebody else? Um, was I not good enough? You you end up putting more of these things on yourself here when you're off balance, okay? Dragon heart, yeah. You're going to need to... Um, dragon tamer. Why did I say dragon heart? There's not even a dragon heart in this um, deck, but yeah um dragon tamer so it is about taming that you know when your thoughts start running wild with you here um again this is an indication of already being through battles here and this is also suggested in the nine of wands here you know you've already been on a journey and look i need a rest i've been through all this already just give me a break i'm i want to move out of these bad times towards the good times and it's saying you know have faith and have courage here and you will move forward but you need that balance of your head and your heart you need to um be true to yourself not just um other people so if you're always giving to other people um you won't have anything for yourself if you're always um you know locked away with this nine of wands if you keep building these walls up around you then nobody can get inside either so you've got to have the courage to bring down your walls a little bit and trust yourself here um and I, I, like i keep saying you find the happy balance like between not letting people cross your boundaries and that self-respect with the queen of wands but also loving and compassionate to people um so yeah i feel like you've got to let people in as well um you know when these boundaries are high even if you don't know the outcome that's where having faith comes into this ace of swords and then you'll have this breakthrough here look at this sword breaking through the cloud you'll have this clarity you'll have the information once you let go and let god have faith you know that it's coming to you don't let it keep you stuck overthinking like i don't have all the answers i can't see my way forward from this i i don't know what the future is you've just got to allow it to happen here and you've got to allow love to come in um but you've got to use logic so compromise 
like don't compromise your boundaries, compromise, you know, overusing your head um, because it's like um, it keeps you stuck. OK, you've got to have the courage to allow your boundaries um, to come down a little bit. So we have communication. Um, I feel like you're wanting communication. You feel like without this communication, you don't have the answers. I think that's what it is because there's no communication. Um, there's no answers. There's no forward movement. Um, you need to, like I said, have the courage to let go and trust here. Have faith. Eight of Wands. Communication is coming, okay? Um, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. Clarity and communication is coming. So don't worry, uh, you know, if at the beginning of August you're like, I do not know what's going on here. I don't have the information. I don't have the answers to these questions that I have. And now I'm blocked. Somebody has cut me off. They're being quite cold to me. And I just don't know why. I can't see why they're doing this to me. Because you'll get this clarity and you'll get this communication here, okay? So don't worry about that. Just have the courage to let go and trust that this person and you or this love connection um, is strong enough. This is a strong love here, okay? Um, maybe you could communicate with them intuitively as well here. But definitely you'll talk about this with them and you'll get clarity from them. You'll have a breakthrough um, with them in communication. Um, trust that they will give you the answers that you're looking for. I know you don't have them at the moment and I know that's an issue for you. Um, but trust that this is coming for you. A breakthrough is going to come. A breakthrough will happen here. Yeah, five of pentacles. So you're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling the lack. Um, I feel like it's lack of information here. Um, because it's like with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So it's the lack of communication, um, the lack of answers that makes you feel this Five of Swords. But this Five of Swords in this deck is about a lifeline is coming, okay? Communication is coming. So the lifeline for you guys is this communication. So don't worry about it that you can't see what's going on with them at the moment or you don't have information to make a proper decision, you feel like it's keeping you stuck. They're keeping you stuck in a situation, maybe not telling you yes, not telling you no. There's too many things left unanswered that you don't know. Um, when you feel like, well, I can't move forward because I don't have the answer. Your intuition is trying to guide you forward. OK, if they're being cold with you, um, just like I say, be compassionate. You know, use your head and your heart here, okay? Um, I do feel like it's a rest period between you two, so it may be a while before, um, you know, you get unblocked or you unblock them. Um, you've got to have courage during this time. While you're feeling this lack, understand and know that this communication, eight of ones, is coming. You are going through some hurdles, but, you know, um, it's coming. It'll get easier, once you have this clarity and information. So don't worry about that, guys, okay? A breakthrough in communication is coming. Good luck.